Good morning and welcome back, Ashutosh. Hi. Yes, good morning, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing well. What about you? Yeah, I am fine. Thank you for asking. Long time no see, right? Yes, it's been a while. Yeah. And how's your morning going on? Yeah, it's, it's nice. Of course, I uh, woke up and after that I have finished all the chores, which I do. And mm -hmm. after that I did worship and uh, after that here I am. So. Oh, that's good. That's nice. As you said, woke up, I realized that, yeah, that's the topic that we are going to talk about today, right? Yeah. <laughs> going to bed. Yeah, we are going to discuss that in a short while. So, so what about you? How are the things with you and how is your morning going? My mornings are really busy, though I wake up at 4 a.m. I'm too busy. Oh, I am unable to complete. Great. <laughs> yeah, I'm unable to complete my work. I finished all my chores and I start my classes at 9. But it's a really <laughs> busy morning. I wish that I could wake up at 3 and then I'll have sufficient time to complete all my work. Okay, got it. So, Ashutosh, in today's session, okay, you have reached session number 75. Wow. 75. Yeah, you have learned a lot. And in this session also, you're going to learn a lot. Uh, one of the, first we'll discuss the phrases and quotes, and then we'll go further and discuss about the topic. Is that okay? <laughs> yes. One is very common. Everybody uses this. Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, wise. We don't have to discuss that because everybody knows it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other one that's not quite uh, common is rise and shine. Have you heard anyone using or do you use it? No, I don't really use it. But of course, mm -hmm. I read uh, before, just you know, mm -hmm. when I was going through this session note. Okay. So rise in science, sign means uh, just, you know, you can uh, wake up early in the morning and then you can start doing uh, something for your dreams or for mm -hmm. anything like, you know, whatever your purpose is. So that's what mm -hmm. I think rise in sign means. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So that that phrase means to wake up in the morning and get out of the bed and start your work through a uh, work for the day. But initially I had uh, I had heard people using rise and shine. I just thought that maybe they're talking about your career, rise in your career and shine in your career. I used to imagine it that way, but then later on, I got to know that it's not that way. It's just get up, wake up and then do your work. That's it. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah. So tell me, Ashutosh, uh, I want to know about you. Are you an early bird or a night owl? <laughs> yeah, of course, if I'll say about this question, mm -hmm. I, I can't say that I'm an early bird as well, because I'm not waking up early in the morning. And when mm -hmm. it comes to the night owl also, I'm just, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the, I'm choosing a midway. I don't go mm -hmm. very late for the just you know, night as well. So I can't consider myself as a night owl as well, because mm -hmm. never ever just, you know, I have been awake for like, you know, two o'clock or three o'clock for something. Most of the time I'm trying to sleep uh, like, you know, before the midnight. So I can't say that I'm just, you know, early bird. I, I would like to be, I don't want to be a night owl. That's pretty sure. But I would mm. like to be an early bird, but I'm trying my level best, but it's really hard to be honest. What time for you, you oh my goodness. I, I can't even imagine just, you know, waking up <laughs> at four, you said it. And you're trying and you're thinking to wake up at three also. That's super mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, because um, we say that it's, it's called as Brahma Muhurt, right? In India. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yes. It's an auspicious time to wake up and the mind is fresh. And if we start a day with positive affirmations, that's definitely going to come true. And I've tried it. It has definitely come true. All my wishes have been fulfilled by God's grace. Have you ever tried? Uh <laughs> No, actually, as I told you that uh, in the morning, it's very difficult for me to wake up, even though mm -hmm. I would like to uh, wake up at that time, 4.10 to 4.58, that mm -hmm. those 48 minutes are very important, what I heard, but actually, it's very difficult. Sometimes I try, but in the future, I would like to have such a schedule. So what about you after just waking up at 4, like, what do you do uh, usually? 
I actually start cooking because um, I have I love animals and a lot of animals come to mm-hmm. my house early in the morning and they mm-hmm. want breakfast first thing in the morning so I keep it ready for them as soon as the sun shines there's sunlight and they come and appear in front of my house oh, okay so just after four your work is just you know you will start cooking yeah That's first, first I cook. work yeah mm-hmm. first I cook then the birds also uh, would come then I would feed the birds after that I, I would start the other work like cleaning and then I get ready to work yeah worship also but i don't get sufficient time to worship in the morning so i do it in the evening okay fine and uh, hmm so what what time do you go to bed at night around 9 or 10 you said right yeah it depends on my sessions actually even though i'm conducting sessions for the people and i'm mm-hmm. helping them to speak better english so it depends mm-hmm. uh, like uh, nowadays i i i am taking a session or conducting a session at 10 to 10:30 so after mm-hmm. conducting that session i will just uh, do some uh, like you know things and i will listen some uh, devotional songs at the end of the day and after that i will just go to the bed at uh, almost 10:45 or 10:40 from the last few days before mm-hmm. that i used to go at my bed actually at 10:30 something like that so i don't prefer going very late but if it is compulsory or just if i'll have to conduct a session at late night few months ago i used to take a session till like you know 11 or 11 15 also it it was very late so i used to go for my bed at like almost 11 45 or 12 hours so, so it depends on my sessions so okay how do you stay awake and take classes at around 11 pm because at that time though i'm awake i sleep at at 11 11:30 or 12 but uh, though i'm awake i'm not alert so i feel very drowsy and i'm not in good mood so i wish i could take classes at that time but i can't because i'm not but very actually alert. for you as you said that you were choosing a one part of the day that is very early in the morning right for mm-hmm. me i can't really wake up early in the morning if you will take classes at 11 or 12 then how will you think about waking up at 3 or 4 right yeah that's right you can't yeah. even yeah that's why i'm really unhappy with myself because i go at 11 but i i wake up uh, very late like 8 mm-hmm. 7:30 or nowadays i'm waking up at 8 like you know so i i'm not really happy i feel like i i can wake up at least at 5 6 it's mm-hmm. it's okay to go for the sleep of 6 to 7 hours but i'm just taking like almost 8 to 9 hours which is not really good so, yeah so. yeah maybe you could reduce but you can't reduce it uh, all of a sudden maybe you can reduce half an hour then again half an hour so it keep, keep on reducing to half an hour then you will reach the goal that you want and mm-hmm. so how do you wake up do you set an alarm or do you wake up all by yourself uh no actually nowadays i'm not uh, setting alarm i just uh, do uh, wake up by myself because nowadays of course i don't uh, force myself to wake up very early in the morning so that's why whenever i'm waking up that's fine mhm okay almost at 8 or like you know it's late i feel really bad about it in in winters it was fine because mm-hmm. temperature used to be very low in early mornings but when yeah. it comes to the summers we must wake up actually at 5 or 6 so we mm. can feel that the coolness and calmness of environment and exactly. if we are waking up at 8 it is already just you will go out and feel like you know hustle and bustle is there people they are running and hustling to their office so mm. this kind of things are there so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. correct what about uh, the weddings in north india like it's conducted during the night time do you are you able to enjoy the weddings during the night Yes of course i actually nowadays actually as i as i'm telling you that i would like to choose a schedule to where i can wake up early in the morning so uh, the nights are not just comfortable if you will go for the very lo- just a late night it will be difficult for you in the morning and what i feel it is very difficult for me to attend marriage parties frequently but i do like dancing on dj a lot actually i enjoy uh, dancing with a, like a you groom know, and just you know there so on the floor that's interesting but i can say that if i'm there with my friends i would love to enjoy that but mm-hmm. rarely i go uh, for the weddings okay you rarely go but you enjoy that's really nice because i'm not able to enjoy the weddings at night because i feel so sleepy 
that though I'm dressed up, I still feel sleepy and I'll just try to search for a corner where they, I could just go and lie down. I, I just search for a bed. That's it. So I really love the weddings in South India because it happens during the day when we are very active and alert. And uh, that's very mm -hmm. easy, very short. It happens. It, it is done, finished during the day. And then we can go back home and relax. So I like that. Yeah, but in North India, it goes, I think, whole night. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, there will be just, you know, that system where uh, the groom will be just uh, like, do, uh, there will be photo shoots, I think, goes whole night, I think, what I feel. Nowadays, oh my goodness, people are crazy to take photos. Hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. Hmm. We have time. So right, in yeah. South India, it is actually in South India, it happens in morning, uh, daytime. Yeah. Yeah, daytime or noon. So there is no program at night. No program like at night. Like late night, like 11, 12, 1, 2. No, nothing like that. So by that time, we would be fast asleep. Nothing happens during the night. <laughs> it's just that... Yeah, see, it is then... fine. Actually, even though I feel tedious and monotonous, waking up at 2 or 3, every... Like whatever you were saying, that is absolutely right. The people, they are trying their level best to just, you know, be awake at that point of time. But most of the people, they feel sleepy, like, you know, sitting like this or just, you know, yeah. their face will be down, even though they uh, they have a good rashes on, like, you know, their mm -hmm. body, but they feel like very sleepy. In the morning, yeah. you will see the face mm -hmm. of the people that shouldn't, like, you know, look good. Correct. And then next day, they just want to complete the sleep. So they're very active, uh, sorry, not active during the ne next day. They just want to cover up that sleep, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Next day, we will have to take a rest for sure. We can't even mm -hmm. think about waking up a whole night and then go for the office the next day. We will have to just, you know, go back. And after completing all the process, we will go back to our home and we will take uh, like, you know, uh, just to sleep. And after that, we will start everything, whatever it is. Hmm. So that's why what happens mostly if the like, you know, we are not visiting the, we are not attending the marriage party of any, any like, you know, close uh, one or just, you know, then we, mm -hmm. what we uh, do, we will go there at uh, the seven o'clock, eight o'clock and then we will be back at like, you know, nine or 10. We yeah, don't that's... stay there for very long. Mm, that's good. And that way you but can if, enjoy. Uh, my brother is getting married. If my sister mm -hmm. is getting married, then I'll have to stay awake, stay up awake for a whole night. Right, right. Yeah. 